What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about draft prospect Lucas Van Ness, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support, continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms. If you would like to uh, donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you would like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, as I mentioned, I do want to talk about draft prospect Lucas Van Ness. Uh, if you guys have been watching uh, the, my live shows, uh, the heavy hitters, I continue to talk about Lucas Van Ness. Uh, he is one of those guys that is one of my favorite draft prospect uh, in this 2023 draft. And I definitely think that the Falcons possibly could target him at eight. Uh, he is my dark horse pick for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, he goes about 6'5", uh, 270 pounds. Uh, he played his college ball at the University of Iowa. Uh, but he's a guy that I definitely think the Falcons would be interested in in this draft. Uh, being that Ryan Nielsen coached Trey Hendrickson, who I think is the comp for a guy like Lucas Van Ness. Uh, Trey Hendrickson, formerly of the New Orleans Saints, uh, now the defensive end with the Cincinnati Bengals, is a player that I kind of compare to a Lucas Van Ness. Both of those guys are around the same size, same weight. And both of those guys are not flashy players. Uh, they're basically blue collar type players. Um, he's not going to, you know, he's not the fastest guy, not the strongest guy, but he's a guy that uh, has a consistent high motor. He's a guy that can get after the passer. He's a guy that can penetrate into the backfield. And he's a very versatile player. Um, a guy that at Iowa kind of played the three tech and played that defensive end position. They moved him around the defensive line. And I definitely could see him being a guy that Ryan Nielsen would like uh, would like in his scheme here in Atlanta. And to me, he's one of my favorite uh, players because he's a player that does a lot of dirty work. When he was at Iowa, he was one of those guys that um, wasn't really known as a star player, but he was one of those guys that was a complimentary player. Uh, he did lead Iowa's team in sacks, but he wasn't a starter at Iowa. He was a guy that they would rotate into the game, but I definitely think that he has the skill set to definitely be a very good pass rusher in the NFL because of his size, his length. And he's a guy that uses different pass rush moves. Uh, he's not a complete uh, player yet, which most NFL rookies are not, or most college players are not complete players. But I definitely think that Ron Nielsen could help mold him, similar to what he did with Trey Hendrickson uh, with the New Orleans Saints. He could mold him into like a Pro Bowl talent. Um, I do think that because he's a hard worker, because he's one of those blue collar type players. And it seems that our culture, as um, far as Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot, they like players that are blue collar, hard working players, players that don't get a lot of pub in the media, but but players that's going to come in and, you know, bring their hard hat to work every single day and come in and put in the work uh, to get better each and every day. So I definitely think that Lucas Van Ness uh, could possibly be the pick for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I definitely think that he would be worth the pick at eight. Um, like I said, I do think that he could possibly turn into uh, one of the better pass rushers in the NFL. Um, another player comp um, of who his game kind of reminds me of is Jared Allen, um, who's now retired. But he used to be a defensive end for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Minnesota Vikings. He was another guy that wasn't really flashy. Uh, wasn't the most athletic guy, but he had a really good NFL career and could easily be a future Hall of Famer. I believe Jared Allen had about 136 sacks in his career, uh, which was really good. So I definitely could see um, Lucas Van Ness being one of the guys that the Falcons draft. Um, one thing that I like about Lucas Van Ness is he is a guy that's a three down lineman, meaning he can play first, second and third down um, because he's not one of those smallish uh, defensive lineman. He's like a pure defensive end. And being that we know the New Orleans Saints like drafting bigger, longer defensive uh, defensive linemen, I really could see Ryan Nielsen and the guys that we've brought in on this defensive staff because uh, Arthur Smith stated that we're trying to create a violent defensive line. Bringing in a guy like Lucas Van Ness, I definitely think would bode well for this Falcons team. Like I said, he's one of those guys that will fit in in the locker room. Um, he's not a guy, like I said, that is going to 
uh, wow you with his athleticism as far as uh, flash and things of that nature. But he is one of those guys that can get the job done. Um, at Iowa last season, he had about seven sacks and 10 and a half tackles for loss. So he's a, a guy not only that can rush the passer, but he also is really solid at stopping the run. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Falcons take Lucas Van Ness at eight. Uh, but you guys give me your thoughts on Lucas Van Ness. Uh, do you think the Falcons would draft him at eight? Um, and what are your feelings about Lucas Van Ness uh, possibly being an Atlanta Falcon? Uh, but with that being said, this being your boy Ju, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.